It's Robin the Hood, Ooh. sire! <laughs> We've captured the scoundrel! Wow! We have done no such thing. Oh, okay. No, but we didn't. we did draw Prince John from yes. Robin Hood, from Disney's Robin Hood. Yay! This particular era yeah. of Disney movies, there were a couple of decades where maybe the movies weren't exactly blockbusters. Mm. The lean years. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think they pulled in as many billions. I agree. For whatever reason. You're right. And uh, I think that those years include, like, The Jungle Book. Yeah. Aristocats. Mm. The Winnie the Pooh stories, oh. the Rescuers, I think. Okay, yeah. Fox and the Hound. Right. And Robin Hood. Yeah. You know, I liked all those movies. Me too. You know, they're fun. They are. And I think that the reason I really enjoy those mm -hmm. is because Disney at that time, and a little before that, had started experimenting with xerography. Uh-huh. I think it's called xerography, huh. where they are actually copying the animator's sketches Oh. directly onto the cells. Oh, wow. So they're not being repainted. The outlines aren't being repainted. Okay. The the animator's sketches on paper get transferred to cells, and then those get painted. That's interesting. Yeah. it's. I, I, mean, I think it's time-saving. Okay. And I think it's money-saving. Okay. Since we're talking about the lean the years. The lean years. I think that's why they did it. <laughs> but I think... That it to me it looks more hand done like yeah they look like especially the Winnie the Pooh they right. look like book illustrations come oh, to life they do yeah and I, I think you can just see more of the artist's hand yeah in the movie there's a I, sketchiness to it like yeah a, it's like sketchy scratchy lines yeah. I really like it I do too it worked really well I think the first time they did it uh -huh. for 101 Dalmatians <gasps> and I can watch that movie. Any day. I know. That's a beautiful movie. It is. And it looked nice on Robin Hood, too. Yeah, it did. Uh, you know, we just watched this the other day. It was yeah. it was a nice looking movie. But yeah. it is a sleepy time <laughs> gal. Man. It is. I think I may have fallen asleep I a little bit. I think you might have. Wow. <laughs> and I think it has a lot to do with, I think it's a soft palette color wise. Yeah. It's not jumping out at you. It's not right. attacking your eyeballs. Yeah. Uh, plus, Roger Miller narrates it. He sings the oh, song, yeah. and he's got that yeah. easy listening That's Sunday a afternoon soothing voice. voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I, I think I went out for a couple minutes yeah. too. Yeah. Nevertheless, there were some good action scenes. Absolutely. You know, it's a fun movie. It is a fun movie. And you know, Prince John. Yeah. He's for the villain of the piece. Yeah. He's great comic relief. Yeah, he is. You're he's, right. You know, he's. I think he's funnier. Than almost any other character in that movie. Yes, I would agree with that too. Yeah. No, yeah. You know what? Like, and he's kind of, I, you know, I've been drawing these furry Disney villains now. Yeah. This is the fourth one, mm -hmm. and he's a little different. He is different because when you look back at the Brer Fox piece that I did, yeah, Brer Fox looks vicious. Yeah. It's got that big maw of yep. razor sharp teeth. Those teeth. And Radigan looks scary. Yeah. And Scar just looks evil. Rough. He right? is rough. But. Prince John. Yeah. He's kind of cuddly. He is. He's cute. He's really cute. Yeah. He looks like a young lion. There's He doesn't have a mane, so there's a cuteness right, to him. Right, yeah. And then he's got the big hat on the little head yeah. thing going. And his his robe, his king's oh, robe yeah. is really big because they belong to his brother. Right. Yeah, I actually forgot that he was as bad as he is in this movie. Right. Because... I mean, all the images you see of him online, yes. when you do an image search, he's, uh, most of the time he's sucking his thumb. Right. And he's pulling on his ear and yeah. he kind of looks kind of vulnerable. He does. And a little gentle. So yeah, I forgot until we watched it recently. Yeah, but he's, that, he's, he's cruel. He is. And greedy. Yes. And he's throwing people in jail left right? and right. Just for existing. I know. So yeah. yeah, a villain. Yeah. But you said also that you were having trouble... Yeah. You know, I know you were falling asleep during the movie, but were you also having trouble keeping track of the characters uh, for some reason? Okay, well, there's two Johns in this movie. There are two Johns. <laughs> there's Prince John and Little John. I think that's just part of the original story. I'm sure it is. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I kept getting confused between the two. They would say Prince John was doing this and it was bad, and I kept thinking, well, Little John wouldn't do that. Why? So oh, right, because Little John is Robin, Robin Hood's, Hood's buddy. Yeah. Okay. And he's the good guy. Oh, so, you, so, so people would say John and you'd be defending. Remember, I was asleep yeah. through a lot of this. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, 
I'm glad we got it straightened out. I am too, so now I know. All right, so as you can see, I'm wrapping this up. Yeah. It's almost done. Yes. Uh, another Disney furry villain. Yeah. Another ink wash piece. Yeah. Disney furry villain. And I, I, I'm getting a little faster with these. Yeah. This is the fourth one of these in a row. Right. And I'm just forcing myself to do the ink wash. And yeah. I'm feeling a little more confident yeah. each time. I think you can tell. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And I think it gets a little better each time. So, Definitely. you know, onward and upward, I guess. Yay. But there he is. Prince John, yeah. yet another failed Lion King. <laughs> Thank goodness. Right? Thank goodness for Robin the Hood. Yes. 